Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to the final video of 2023. Uh, so, this is um, this is it. This is the last Crystal Library 2023. Last, uh, I wouldn't say last video, because I think I've got like a couple of videos I want to make uh, before the end of the year. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be very much kind of orientated with opening up the final lots of crystals that I have. Uh, I wish I was, I mean, I was quite close to the seven Sahara crystal. Uh, but yeah, I'll just talk for you some stuff. We're going to do some Cavalier, op Cavalier crystal opening, then go over to... Uh, because I've got all of these winter ones to open, and I'm hoping to pick up a, a six star from them. And look, here's the thing: I want, I really wish Caban would add in the Paragon crystals as kind of chase, kind of like ones to grab, uh, just because you know they're a bit more spicier. So, so I'm just going to kick off with popping open uh, ten Cavalier crystals, and there's one new champion from this one. Uh, scoot along, any no fives? I don't believe it. <laughs> It's a Heimdall, a six-star Heimdall. So I've always had the five-star version, but I've never picked up the six. It is weird. 2023, if you've seen the crystal openings, by the way, that's the, the chair clicking, not me, uh, not my back, because that'd be painful. I've never picked this up. Like, this is, again, another weird thing. Like, it's been a weird year uh, for luck. Definitely in the last couple of months, I've picked up some stuff that I've just been so surprised at. You know, I, I think seven-star Shuri, uh, you know, the, all the other champions I've picked up. I mean, granted, I could have gone a different way with how I approached my opening from the crop list, but at the end of the day, it is what it is. I'm, I'm pretty happy with what I've uh, picked up. Let's pop open some of these. Weird, weird start to the video. Let's open up these uh, nine right here. Uh, six star, hey, a six star um, iron, iron skull, red skull. That's the that's the one that Kabam didn't release, iron skull. Uh, I think I've got good amount of signatures on that one. Up to 80, okay, that's fine. I've thought about maybe ranking that one up, but there's so many. Cha I've got so much ranking up, leveling up to do with champions. Uh, you, you lose yourself in a moment, you know, how you're going to build stuff. So let's do these next one here um, the winter ones, the winter wonderland. Uh, walking in a winter wonderland. I think I've got like a 20 something of these to kind of grab, so that's something. Uh, but yeah, it's been a, a you know really productive uh, year. Lots of uh, lots of things. Necropolis has to be 100 percented by end of January. Um, working on that now. Not Necropolis itself because I'm not back into it, but I will be back into it very very soon. How many more have I got to do? 25, 26, 27, 27. Wow. Okay, 27 of these. Um, I do need to take a print screen of that. Print screens. Think my job with it. Look. First of all. It's going to be a three star. I'm not going to do all it. I'm probably going to pop um, a lot of these because I want to just kind of get on with the uh, the opening um, of them up. I think I'll just go and go back to the camera, Rich, pop them open. Boom. Let's pop them open. Okay. Got a five star. One new champion. I wonder what that could be. Mysteries, hey? Uh, mysteries are that one of these 27. Uh, across, across, across. Could it be a new six star? Because it wouldn't be a seven star. Three star, three star. It's a... Uh, oh, no. Still a dupe. Across. <gasps> it's a new six star. But what is it? It's a more... Again, another weird... Th the, honestly, the, it's so weird. I've never picked up six star versions of some champions. Mordo, I mean, I picked up a seven-star Mordo before I picked up a seven-star Mordo, and I picked up a six-star six Mordo. Um, now, six-star Mordo, six-star Heimdall. Honestly, very weird. It's very weird. Uh, Kabam finally given me some of these champions that I've had on the wait list, and I've had to either bypass or whatever. Not bypass, but, you know, so, so, six-star Heimdall. Like, I probably, if, if they ever put seven-star Heimdall in, I probably would have got it uh, before I picked up a uh, that particular version of it. In any case, let's kind of do a little bit of, um, a little bit of spinning. There's not anything particular I want from this, especially from a six-star, seven-star, sorry, six-star perspective. I do think Kabam should put in the Paragons into here, but I, I want to feel like it's going to be a Valiant um, title exclusive, and that is something that... that here's the thing, I've got to work hard in January. I have to 100% Necropolis. I have to. Like, I, and I have to get that done. Like, that's that's a sad side of things when it's like you feel forced to do something. And I, I think I've got some time. I want, I want to book off in January to do that. Take an easygoing approach to new the new year. But I think there'll be lots of things to, to cover. So um, I was going to be like, I'm going to take a break. But uh, I've sort of taken a mini break from uh, from stuff with um, 
with how you know I've been you know during the early parts of the day you know spending some time with M. she's been playing Hogwarts Legacy I've been kind of farming arena kind of preparing myself and getting uh revives and also doing an Acropolis run so it's been nice to have that kind of balance but that when I go back to work that's gone so I'm gonna have to kind of like rethink um my approach but I didn't want to burn out from MCOC because that's one thing that uh, I, I think by the end of January I will feel quite burnt out uh with the extent of what I've had to do uh five star yeah, there we go. Five star Iceman. Don't need it, but um, because I got set, I got six star version and uh, it's two hundred signature. Uh, I got the five star and two hundred signature as well, so that's something um to know. Let's pop the last ten uh, before going over to the six star, shall we? Can I get a final cheeky six star from this? So uh, at the moment, it has been one uh, six star right there. Uh, I don't think I've picked up anything else. I think that's just the one six star. Oh, of course, I picked up two if you count the Heimdall from that um, earlier set, which was the Cavalier. Just straight up Cavalier. Pop in ten. Okay, let's go. The final ten of this, of these three. Oh, two new champions. This could be promising, unless it's like a, a five star. Um, look. Picked up two five stars. Going across, going across. Well, there we go. Five star Wiccan. I didn't have a five star Wiccan. Weird, but it's like I had a six star version. I then picked up the seven star version. I think I then duped the seven star version. Something like that. Maybe I didn't. Keeping a keeping a, a record of your champions. It's always important to hit click the uh, champion section. But you know, not too bad. Picking up two six stars from Cavalier Crystals is a, uh, a bonus for anybody. And uh, thanks Kabam for the freebies. I could double check that just so I'm not going completely mad. Uh, Wiccan, 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 Wiccan. I have not duped as a seven star, but it's. I've got to do so so many rank ups. I think I'm going to write a list of things I've got to do in game uh, before, uh, well, over the next week because. You know, that, that's, I said there's a lot to keep up to date with. 65 days, so I, I, look, I'm gonna go and um, I'll probably pop all these, get some more seven star shards under my belt, and pick up the one last one, which is that one there. Yeah, pick up my last, um, get the last kind of like last dregs of uh, six star shards before the six star featured is reset. But if I can pick up some interesting, <laughs> that's an interesting start. I don't think, I mean, I've got all the stuff, all the champions from the featured, so I've kind of like completed it, mate, with that one, and I'm happy with that one. Domino as a six star is something I'm still to this day hunting for, as well as a seven star version. So you never know what what's going to happen or what you're able to pick up. Uh, definitely want to see where the Red Guardian, how the meta is around that champion, because if we, co we cover the buff... It's an interesting one, and it might be something I want to further rank up. I've already got the six-star version. Okay, sneaky little champion I need. That's interesting. I think it's the first time duping. No, it can't be the first time duping this one. Because, again, that'd be weird. What's get Honestly, it's, it's a weird... This is weird. It's weird. All my openings for the last two weeks have just been weird. If you've seen my Christmas Eve opening, my Christmas Day opening, the greater... Banquet Crystal opening, this opening, weird. It's weird because I'm picking up dupes or I'm picking up champions for the first time that I've been hunting for, not require necessarily, but want the upgraded versions like Heimdall. Never picked up a Mordor, picked up a Mordor. For the last two years, I've never awakened my Warlock. Yes, I could use Awakening Gem on it, but I didn't want to be that kind of... Um, it's not needed to awaken your Warlock. But it's nice if you like that degen damage that you could have as an extra addition. It's not needed, but it's it's handy. It's a fun little extra on the damage potential. And of course, I've got the seven star version now, so I'm kind of like in the same situation I've been well worse for the last couple of. That again would have been weird if I picked up Domino right there. The weirdness with this, it's it's just and picked up a kill a Killmonger as a seven star recently. So look, so it's a, it's just weird. Like, it's really weird. It's like my, not wish list, but my list of champions that I could pick up that I wanted to pick up. Especially as I just saw a sneaky little domino just go by. Um, weird. Just just really weird. Baffling, even. 200 signature uh, overseer is what I got. It's um, my first ever rank 5 champion. I probably won't be rank 5 in champions until I've 100% in Necropolis, mainly because... Um, unless I plan to use Doctor Doom on any kind of paths or um, champion interactions, but you know it's um, last one, last one. Uh, that's Gwenpool. So all the champions I picked up, <clears throat> excuse me, are usable champions. 
And I've either got them up ranked uh, or, or some kind of, you know, element to it. I mean, Rogar, I don't really use anymore. Warlock, I do use. So, look, it is what it is. Overseer is my current rank 5, 6 star. So, yeah, very weird. It is a very weird um, type of opening um, with, with just the grabs, the pulls. Hey, is anybody else finding a bit of a weird state at the moment when it comes to, like, pulling certain champions? And you're like, okay, well, I've grabbed this. This is this is strange. To, to, strange that I've picked this up. I've been hunting for this for a while. I didn't necessarily need this kind of like storage upgrade version, but I got it nevertheless. You know, I, I don't know. Like, what's everybody's um, what, what ha what's going on with people? What's going on with you guys at the moment? Um, I, I, I did that because I was like, do you know what? What would be really weird is if I was able to pick up a seven, uh, six or seven, probably six star, six star. Um, Iron Fist or something and complete a collection of that one but look I'll leave it there that's weird and uh yeah the roster is growing as I said I've got so much to do um in a very short space of time and really important stuff you can see on my level up at the moment look look what I've got to do like I've got so much to sort out rank up um but uh we'll get there new year um, spend a bit of time off to kind of like just sort some stuff out, rank up some champions, figure out where I'm putting stuff, what's the purpose of them within my roster, do they have a purpose, uh, am I just ranking them up just for the sake of it, look, lots of things to discuss, I wish you all the best, and I would say to everybody, make sure to have a strong MCOC um, list of things to do in game, don't feel too, you know, crazy with you've got to do X or Y, just start kind of creating a list, formulating a plan of what you plan to do with your roster, where you plan to go, what you plan to do in 2024. Um, you know, that's probably the main thing. Um, I'll probably do like a video, I think, talking about that. But uh, yeah, it might be another couple of videos to, to post a day and then I might kind of do just the one video for tomorrow and then just uh, chill out. I haven't really decided. Um, but yeah, thanks very much for watching. Happy New Year to anybody and everybody watching this video. And uh, yeah, I shall see you all soon. Check out some other content located on screen. Bye-bye uh, for now.